Hi, my name is Arya Dalal. I study at the Cathedral in John Connon School, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a project based on heart disease detection. So this is a screenshot of my replet, and with the help of pre-made data sets through this project, we are able to analyze and predict whether one person has a heart disease or not. This is a screenshot of my data set, and I have taken this data set from an appliance called Kaggle. Kaggle provides a variety of data sets, and I've chosen to do one based on heart disease. There are a number of columns, which we call as features, and some examples of the columns are age, sex, chest pain type, resting blood pressure, serum cholesterol, and fasting blood sugar. So in my data set, the minimum age was 39 and the maximum age was 68. There are different types of chest pain types which we are going to be studying, and this will help us detect the presence of a heart disease. Some examples are asymptomatic, atypical angina, non-angina pain, and typical angina. Um, and an important thing to note is that in fasting blood sugar, we have zeros and ones. The zero indicates there's no absence of fasting blood sugar and one indicates a presence. And lastly, in my data set, the last column is a label, which is a heart disease diagnosis. Yes indicates a presence and no indicates an absence of a heart disease. Now, moving on to the problems and solutions, I chose to take up this specific project, not only because I'm passionate about health, is because I've had an experience where my father was asymptomatic and had a heart attack. So I think it's interesting how we are able to analyze data sets and many different symptoms to predict whether a person is suffering from a defect or not. And I think it's really important whether there's any issue at an early stage to run tests and monitor these symptoms to ensure that a person um, seeks the health care which they deserve and ensures that they are taking up action against the heart disease which may affect them in the future. Now to move on to an appliance which is called Pixida is a navigator. All right, so, right. so I'm using an algorithm known as random, random forest classifier. Um, as you can see that in the metric value column, we have a very high accuracy of 84.25. When we compare this to other algorithms, we see that this has the highest accuracy. And so we've taken random forest classifier. And in Pixida, we've trained the data sets and we've, able, we've been able to make a very high accuracy and a prediction as to whether an individual is suffering from a heart disease or not. So as you can see over here, we have some random values and through this we can, we'll be able to predict whether a person has a heart disease. Um, you can enter whichever values and because the data has been trained, you'll be able to predict it accurately. The prediction is yes, in this case, the person is suffering from a heart disease. Now from the Pixida, we've imported the data onto my replet. As you can see, this is my code and we can run it. So it's going to ask me a bunch of questions. We can start with under ID, you can say 12. Under age, give the example 57. Under sex, female. Chest pain type. You can put a variety of different ones, but we can study typical angina in this case. Uh, resting blood pressure, 130. Serum cholesterol level, you can say 245. Uh, end of fasting blood sugar, we can see zero, which indicates that there is no fasting blood pressure. B fasting blood sugar, I'm sorry. And um, through the rapid, we've been able to predict that, th that the person is not suffering from a heart disease. Thank you for listening to my project, and I hope you guys were able to learn something from it.